Rooster Teeth News is brought to you today by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere. Get an extended free trial when you visit HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins with a bunch of good news to take you into the weekend. Rockstar has pushed out their latest GTA 5 title update to address a number of lingering issues in GTA Online in preparation for their first installment of the stimulus package early next week, in which they'll deposit $250,000 into the virtual bank accounts of all GTA Online players to apologize for their rocky launch, with a second deposit to come later this month. The new title update fixes a bunch of issues with players losing their vehicles, plus an exploit that allows players to sell the same vehicle multiple times. If you've seen the most recent episode of the patch, you'll know what we're talking about. It also fixes bugs where players couldn't pay utility bills on their apartments, some people weren't receiving their crew invites, and some people were still getting stuck with the long loading times or black screens. They've uh, tweaked the character creation tool, too, to help generate more attractive characters on random settings. And here's the best part, they've capped the amount of money you can lose when dying in free mode to $500, which will be especially welcome with players about to get a whole lot richer. And Nintendo is also working on a fix for their Pokemon X and Y bug, in which players are getting corrupted saves after saving the game in Lumio City. Their fix could be available on the eShop as soon as early next week, but they don't have an exact date yet. Their fix will also address currently bugged saves, so if you can be patient, this fix will recover your current progress. If you're not patient, well, users have suggested various workarounds that you can try. One, try removing the SD card from your 3DS, turning the 3DS on, and loading the game. Select your save file and try to get to an indoor location like the Pokemon Center to save. Then turn off the 3DS and reinsert the SD card. Two, when you're loading the game and the screen is black and the music starts playing, repeatedly press the home button. This may take several minutes, but a lot of users have reported it working. If you haven't encountered the bug, Nintendo has provided a map of the city where the bug tends to happen, so avoid saving in these areas. And if you're in the market for a 3DS, good news! That limited edition Link Between Worlds 3DS XL that was announced for Europe appears to be coming to the US as well. A leaked GameStop ad for Black Friday shows the Zelda 3DS XL bundle on offer for $219. GameStop execs have confirmed that the ad's legit, so start saving your rupees. And finally, on the heels of Ubisoft delaying their racing title The Crew until next year, Sony has announced that their car enthusiast Paradise Drive Club is delayed until early 2014. Sony Worldwide Studios president Shuhei Yoshida says Drive Club will be a truly innovative, socially connected racing game, but the team requires more time in order to deliver on their vision, and I'm fully confident the game will surpass your expectations. Drive Club was going to be one of the instant game collection titles for the PlayStation 4 launch, which is the free games program for PlayStation Plus subscribers, and it still will be when it comes out, but Sony is replacing that launch spot with a game called Contrast a surreal platformer that takes place in a vaudevillian film noir-inspired reality. And while we're talking free games programs, Xbox has extended their Games with Gold program for Xbox 360 indefinitely instead of ending it in December. But still no word on whether they intend to bring the program to Xbox One in the future. And that's the news for today. What are you going to spend your GTA stimulus on? And are you excited about the fix for Pokemon X and Y? How do you feel about Drive Club's delay? Let us know in the comments below. Then make sure you visit roosterteeth.com over the weekend. The gauntlet returns this Sunday, and it is crazy.